All right, guys, we're talking about that hinge pattern. So with the hinge, it's being able to dissociate movement at your hips from movement at your spine, right? So if I'm moving from my spine, I'm just going ahead and round my back, pick something up off the ground, versus hinging, I'm moving at my hips. So there's a posterior, a backward shift of my hips in space. All right, so hinge versus spinal flexion. Okay, so how we set up for this one is your standard brace position. So it's toes forward, knees out, butt tight, abs tight, shoulders back, chin level. Damn, I'm turn this way. Unlocking the knees, relaxing the butt, but keeping the abs tight, and then reaching back with your butt. Okay, full foot on the ground, squeezing the butt, and driving through with the hips. Unlocking the knees, pushing the butt back. Low as you can without losing that back position. Should feel a bit of stretch in the hamstrings. Squeezing the butt and then standing on up. Right, so you should feel that little bit of stretch. You're trying to chase that sensation of being able to squeeze your butt all the way up to the top. When you get up to the top position, it shouldn't be up and back. It's just upright, right to the top, 